Hey everybody. So I just wanted to jump on real quick because I know right now people are just dealing with a lot. Dealing with a lot of stress, dealing with a lot of uncertainty, dealing with a lot of anger, dealing with a lot of fear. And sometimes when we are just consumed with all of these emotions, we can find ourselves getting off track and off focus and find ourselves just on this treadmill of just surviving, just kind of surviving, just kind of getting through through the day. And what I want to encourage us to do, even in spite of everything that's shifting, in spite of everything that seems to be going wrong, that we remember just to remain connected, that we make a decision that first and foremost, we're going to take care of ourselves, no matter what, how that looks, what that looks like. I know for many, many are facing financial challenges. People are, are facing still challenges with their health. And it becomes important that we make a decision that we are going to focus on the things that we have control over. Right now, there's so much that we don't have control over, but there are some things that we do have control over. And one of those things that we have control over is what's going on right up here. You see, what I know is that when we allow the fears of the world and the fears of all of that, all of the things that's happening out there, when we allow it to get into here, that it can cripple us and it could send us to a space where we become fearful, where we become doubtful, where we become real negative. And what I know and believe to be true is that whatever we really believe, I mean, not what we want, but what we really believe. And when I say believe, I mean knowing beyond the shadow. Even though things may look like they're a mess and they may be that, when we believe there's this knowing that can change any situation around. It's not something that, you know, I was taught, I learned at church, it is what I have lived. I know what it feels like to be hopeless. I know what it feels like to want to give up. But I do believe that miracles are still possible. I believe dreams are still possible. I believe that change is possible. And if we ever lose our ability to believe, I think we die a little bit inside. You know, when we stop believing that change is possible, when we stop believing that we can live our dreams and that our hopes can be realized, when we stop believing that we can be healed from whatever we are challenged with, a little piece of us dies. And I just believe that belief is a gift from God, that God gives us to remind us that when we believe, Anything is possible. Anything is possible when we believe. And we all have the ability to believe, but sometimes because life just hits us so many times and life gets hard, that we stop giving ourselves permission to believe. And so today I just wanted to get on just to remind you that no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's going on in the, in the world, God still reigns and God is still in control and he responds to our belief. So I want to encourage you today, in spite of what's going on, in spite of how you might even feel, I just want you to believe for better. Just believe that change is possible. Just believe that your dreams are possible. Just believe that your healing is possible. One of my favorite 
movies ever is The Wiz. And it had such for me, even as a kid, when I first saw it, I think I probably was 11 or 12, uh, had such a powerful message about belief. You see, the characters in that movie, they were searching for this wizard who they thought if they just connected and found the wizard, all of their dreams would come true. You know, the lion, he wanted courage. The tin man, he wanted a heart. The scarecrow wanted a brain. And Dorothy just wanted to get home. And what they realized in that movie, that all along, everything that they were searching for was not outside there, was not in some wizard, not in some person, but what they needed, they already have had and it was within them and that was belief and so I just want to encourage you today just to believe again just to believe again that anything 